From a purely technical standpoint, it's a 90 minute play. But in their lives, it's two years. So you're seeing a condensed relationship here within a 90 minute time frame of basically an individual looking for nothing more than an assistant. I don't need to know you, I, you don't need to ask me any questions. This is the list of things I want you and you are going to be required to do because you are an employee. We go from there. You know, he, he, uh, pop art is, uh, is a, and I don't want to speak for Matt here, but you're seeing that next world of artists coming in with the old world and philosophically they don't quite see eye to eye. And where does that go? Is there a mutual respect that's shared? I think by the end there is. But the fascinating part is watching the journey between these two men and what they each learn in, in the process. And I, I, I don't certainly don't want to speak for Matt on that. I don't know. Um, no, it's just it's so great because I mean for the, like the first part of the play, I'm like a sponge. I just soak up everything he has to say. I mean, granted, uh, sometimes it's like a little much, but but I I take in every <laughs> <laughs> I take in like everything. I mean, I'm like I'm there to learn from the master. I mean, even though it's just a job, but but um, I do take in everything he says. And um, and actually, what's interesting about this play is I actually use what he says to um, as my argument in um, kind of explaining where art is today. Because I feel like I'm kind of like. The, I represent where art is like today, mm. and um, and so like I'm kind of the reminder of that, and so I kind of use his argument against him at the end, um, just like from quotes he's mentioned and artists he's referred to. And he was like you once before. He, yeah. Great point. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, it's just really cool the generations like passing the, the baton and mm. uh, and when, yeah, it's yeah, cer certainly. Um, Rothko must see in you himself mm. of so many years ago. Yeah. You know.